if God is a unipersonal being, that is God is one being and one person, just like we are. See, we are simple beings. So we are only one being and one person, but God is one being three persons. So he is, is a, he's a complex being. So when you try to understand God by looking at you, you're jacking up already. Didn't he already tell you I'm not like you? Didn't he already say my ways are not your ways, my thoughts are not your thoughts? So you can't use what is in essence a simple being, whereas your being and your person are, in, are, 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 are connected in your human experience. You cannot use that in order to understand God's complex being, whereas he is one being, but he is three persons. And, 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 and so you, you've got to under, you've got to, you've got to understand that. And so how could God be love and never share it? There's, there's no, it's the love has an object and a recipient. And if God is love, who was he throughout eternity sharing love with if he is only one person and one being? Well, I'll tell you, Jesus says, you've loved me. You have loved me in the past tense. And, and, and I shared glory with you in the past tense. That's one person sharing something with another. Let the, let the scriptures talk to you. Get, get your head out of that David K. Bernard book and get it in the Bible. You see? And, and, and so the very, the very idea of love presupposes that God not only is love as to his intrinsic nature, but he acted in love. And so the son is the recipient of the father's love. The Holy Spirit is the recipient of the son's love and vice versa. Love has an object and a recipient to it. So, 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 so we, we've got to understand those things. These are only things that can be true of persons, persons love, persons communicate with each other intelligently. Persons will, persons send, persons receive, persons share, persons appoint, persons glorify. Jesus said in John chapter 14, he says, the father and I will come to you. We will make our monet, our abode with you. We, we, not me, we. What part of we is singular? What part of we don't you understand? We will make, and then he says, and then my father will send the comforter. And he, he is a person. He will come to you. He, <clears throat> do you see that? John, John chapter 14. So, 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 so. We, we've got to get this, this is, this is essential to your Christian faith that you embrace the doctrine of the Trinity. This is not optional, friends. It's not optional. Forget what you've been told. Forget what you, you think you know. It's not optional. It's essential to Christian faith. It's essential to it. Because if you don't get God right, you don't get Christ right. And if you don't get Christ right, you don't get salvation right. Because the view that Jesus is just playing three roles, modalistic monarchianism, actually, when you carry that argument out to its furthest point, it actually empties Jesus of his divinity. It actually undermines the, di the divinity of Christ because it posits the idea that Jesus simply had divinity in him, that he had a human side and a divine side, acting as it were two different persons within Jesus. There are various uh, names for that in, um, in uh, church history. Nestorianism uh, comes to mind, is, 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 is one of the uh, ancient heresies that kind of carried this idea uh, of um, uh, almost like, um, what do they call it, dynamic incarnation. It is, it, it, it's kind of, I call it the container theory. So, so, so these are the kind of persons that interpret the text, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself as though he had the spirit of the father on the inside of him. Well, if Christ merely had 
God's spirit on the inside of him, then that doesn't make him God. That makes him a man with God in him, just like me and you. And, 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 so, and, and so I find it interesting that some people who beat you upside the head with Jesus is God, Jesus is God, Jesus is God, their own theology actually undermines the, the deity of Jesus because it, it rejects his distinct person, personage from the Father. And when you do that, you are on a slippery slope.